How you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and as much as I grew up with Nintendo, I also grew up with the Sega Genesis. I'm a huge fan of Sega. I say Sega 100 times every morning. Makes my teeth white. And shout out if you get that reference. I am a huge fan of the Sega Genesis, and I'm so happy whenever they release another Sega Genesis compilation. There's been a few of them in the past. I have the one for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PSP Go. It's downloaded on that as well. And I got one of these for the PlayStation 4. This is the Genesis Collection. Over 50 games, this one says. The more than any of them have had so far on one disc. But is it worth getting again all over again? Now, there's going to be some games on here that weren't on the previous ones and a couple of extra options on here that weren't on the previous ones, too. However, they removed a few things that I was hoping they would have left in. Let's check it out. <laughs> Now, for the main part of the game here, you're in, like, your bedroom from the late 80s, early 90s. And you can see you got your TV there with the VCR. All right. You got your uh, stack of games there all lined up on the uh, cabinet there. You just got to choose which one you want to do. You got the Altered Beast poster. I think I had that same poster in my bedroom as well. And there's a few other options, too. And look at that. This is my bedroom. Look at this. Got a BAP down there. Now, there's a few options, including how the game looks. I'm going to use Space Harrier 2 for this example. And there are a few different options you can choose from to make the game look um, different, I would say. Not necessarily better, but it makes it look kind of like this crayon melted, you know, cartoony looking. If you want, it has the option if you want. You can even add scan lines if you want for some reason. You can't really tell on this game, but there's also a mirror mode in case you want to, like, you know, walk the other direction or something like that. It gives you the option, just for fun. Another option they've included is you can fast-forward gameplay. Great for level grinding, great for games like Sword of Vermilion, where you walk kind of slow, you just want to get somewhere, right? And along with fast-forward, you can also rewind. I love the fact that you can rewind. I'm doing Alk's Kid here. I didn't win this round. Hmm, or did I? Second chance? Hey, what do you know? Hey, and you can do that as much as you want. Now, one feature that I was really disappointed in is you can play two-player games online, but you don't get to choose which game. You have to choose from a selection of games saying, hey, if ever the possibility, I want to play one of these games online. And you can narrow it down to one game if you want. Like, if you, all you want to play is Streets of Rage 2, then you can set that up. However, when you do play it online, oh... It's like sluggish, slow, uh, there's, there's a delay. Uh, sometimes I would time travel, <laughs> what seemed like. Uh, not very optimal. Um, unfortunately, I will not be doing this probably ever again. But I did want to check it out just to see if I could. So, some nifty features, fast forward, rewind, those are awesome. There is a save state in this game as well. There's a whole bunch of games on here. And if you're not as familiar with Sega Genesis, here's a few games that may help you out along the way. Now, one game that's new to this collection is called Alien Soldier. This game is insane. You choose from which weapons you want. The controls are a little crazy at first, but you get used to them pretty quickly, and it is just insane from the get-go. Super, super fun game here. If you're a huge fan of Legend of Zelda, they have Beyond Oasis. Now, Beyond Oasis wasn't marketed that well for Genesis, as far as I'm concerned, but it was kind of like their Legend of Zelda in a way. But you could jump. Hey, you couldn't do that in Zelda. Not until later on, anyway. <laughs> this is a really fun game, and I love the colors in this game, too, so Beyond Oasis, definitely worth checking out. If you're into shooters, Biohazard Battle is super fun. It's like bug-infested shmup. <laughs> Lots of power-ups along the way, too. Big fan of this game. One of my absolute favorite games for the Sega Genesis, I used to rent this all the time, is called Decap Attack. They play as, like, this mummified mummy, I guess. Uh, the skull on your head is an option you can pick up later on to throw at enemies, but really, you just have to go through and you're kind of, you know, put putting your body back together again, so to speak. That's a fun platformer here. The slippery controls, but you get used to it really quickly and 
Love the music in this game, just love everything about it. One of the first games I and many asked was, ooh, is Landstalker on this one? And fortunately, it is. Think of like if Solstice for the NES was like a super action-packed game. It has that angle to it. Unfortunately, sometimes there's like a leap of faith where you're just like, oh, this brick is right in front of me. Nope, it's to your side. And uh, <laughs> there's like no shadowing or anything to tell you that. But this is still really, really fun. I showed this off a little bit earlier, but I do want to talk about Sword of Vermilion. Definitely one of my favorite Sega Genesis games. Probably in my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Uh, just with the variety that's included. Because um, not only is it like RPG style where you're in the town, but then there's random encounters. And then instead of, you know, battling turn-based, it goes into this view where you use your sword. You can use your magic later on. This is like early, early in the game. So I don't have any magic spells yet. Um, I just loved how this looked. It blew my mind. And finally, one of the other features about this game is you can do region selecting. Region selecting. So with Streets of Rage 3, which is Bare Knuckle 3, well, they removed this character from the US release. They left him in the Japanese one, but if you switch it over to the Japanese release for Streets of Rage 3, you can fight uh, this guy. And I don't know why they removed him. I think he's fabulous. So, 30 bucks? I think so. I think it's a great deal. 30 bucks? Are you kidding me? That's like... Uh, math is hard. Uh, I think, I, it, to me, it's a worthy investment. Now, it's not going to have every game on here. Uh, Toe Jam and Earl and 1 and 2 are both on here. You know, it's funny, I never actually played the second one. Um, but that's one that hasn't been on other previous copies of it. There's still no Sonic 3 on here. I'm assuming it's because Michael Jackson helped with the music, but that's pure assumption. I have no idea why, but um, it certainly opens it up for maybe we'll see a secondary thing. Other things that I wish they would have included on the earlier ones is there's no unlockable like Sega Master System games or Sega arcade games. The one on the PlayStation 3 had you could unlock like the arcade version of Altered Beast or Congo Bongo, which was a great classic Sega game. That was like their answer to uh, Donkey Kong and stuff like that. So it's still not, you know, Barring from this and that, but you know what, 30 bucks, happy to have it in my collection. I can pop it anytime and, you know, I'm sure there's only like a few games on here that I, like, that I really, really, really love. Um, and then there's a few games on here that I already have on the Sega Genesis. But the convenience of this, worth it for me. Maybe it's worth it for you. I don't know. But uh, thank you for watching this video all the same and I'm um, happy to have this in my collection. Got more videos always coming up. Thank you for subscribing for more and click that bell icon if you need those first alerts because posting videos uh, all the time, buddy. You know, at least a few a week. So always new videos coming out. There's always new games coming out. So never know what's coming out next. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you.